Hi guys, Mama Mita here today, and also I brought along my guest, Ferris. Ferris is going to be helping me today make a little experiment. So, you know, guys, it's Earth Week, and so we're trying to save our Earth because, you know what? Hmm. Planet B. Let me ask Ferris. Ferris, where's Planet B? I, I don't know, but I know that there is a pizza planet. <laughs> <laughs> He's always got something fun to say. <laughs> yeah, that's right. There is a piece of planet. <laughs> and it's around this place for sure. Okay, guys. So the first one we wanted to, to tell you about is, you know, um, the Earth is just really filling up with a lot of plastic. And it's just really not a good thing. I mean, like, it's just uh, everywhere you look, there's plastic, plastic, plastic. And there really is no way to get rid of that plastic unless, you know, you send it off to recycle. And they don't take everything at Recycle. So I want to kind of show you uh, what we're doing today. We're going to be doing, we're going to be making some toothpaste. Toothpaste. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. boy. <laughs> you use toothpaste for your teeth. Remember, don't eat toothpaste. So. Okay, so, you know, when you're at home and stuff and you get buy all these tubes and stuff, you know, toothpaste is kind of expensive now. With inflation, everything hitting, it's gotten really costly, unless you go to the dollar store. But then, I don't know if I want to go to the dollar store and buy the dollar toothpaste and stuff, because I don't know where that toothpaste, like, what, it, what it's got in it and stuff. I don't, I'm kind of worried about that. So, what we've done what? is I've got these empty tubes of toothpaste. And so, you know, to save some money, and you know, we're going to try to open these and try to see if we can take some more out. And we're going to try to make some toothpaste dots for grandma when she goes on her bike tour that I can put those in my little medicine bottle that I got an empty medicine bottle and we can stack them in there and so when grandma needs some toothpaste she'll just open up her little medicine bottle and pull one of those little toothpaste dots out and chew on that and work it up a little bit and then use my toothbrush to go for it. So Ferris is going to show you how you do this. So Ferris, oh and other, another thing I wanted to tell you about that if you have those little tiny, you know, those little small ones like that, the little uh, throwaway type, you know, you you can always just take the top off of these and take a bigger tube of toothpaste and put it right next to them and force it like that. And you can fill them back up if you're in a hurry to get to the airport and stuff. You just need to, you know, these little things, small ones. You can do that too. But in this case, we're not going to do that because I need the toothpaste dots and I like the toothpaste dots. Okay, so Ferris, so we're going to let you open those up, yeah. and he's going to fill this a plate with as much toothpaste as he can find inside there. And this is a way to save money because, um, you know, we're opening them up, and you know, you'd be surprised how many days worth of toothpaste is still left in that tube. Boy, you're going to sure smell like mint when you're finished. <laughs> <laughs> so you just gotta open snip the end then you're gonna uh split open the the tube and then you'll take like a butter knife and you're gonna just scoop out as much toothpaste as you possibly can you're gonna try to rake and scrape okay let's show them how that looks okay so there it is so far now you see all that toothpaste down there i mean that's probably how many days you think that is there ferris about maybe three days worth of toothpaste yeah that's like three more days of toothpaste ferris go ahead and open that other one up and i'm gonna scoop this out and see as much as i can get out of here and you know when you're trying to save money this is a good way of saving money is to scoop out this uh toothpaste and stuff you know i mean money save is money made and if you got a budget and it's tight, this is a good way to um, to help out. That tastes like dog treats. <laughs> I bet you'd eat that. Do you want me to cut, you me to cut this? Uh, yeah, you can do that. And that way maybe it's easier to get it out. I mean, I'm sure we're going to have a little toothpaste on our hands. Big deal. Our hands will smell good all day. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a that's a pile there. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> I made these dots before Ferris and they lasted me a long time. And they were really good. I took them on that other trip and, and oh jeez. I'm gonna go get another butter knife. Oh, oh look at that. Oh wow, oh Ferris, I think, I think we got enough to make a few dots. Yeah. Let me see. Okay. All right, so that's done, and that's done. Okay, let's see what's in here now. Oh, we got a little bit more there. You see that there now? There you go. Okay, so we're gonna take all of that, and we're gonna put it into the plate. We got like a little plate here that we're gonna mix up all this, and then we're gonna put it in like a, a little syringe, and then we're gonna squeeze it out. Or you could use a, a little cake, cake, you know, icing thing that, uh, to decorate a cake with you could use one of those too well maybe you don't want to do that because it might smell like toothpaste <laughs> okay all right so then we're going to scrape it up oh let me get my let me clean my hands a little bit and you guys this would be like you're helping the earth to heal because you're not using all this plastic and stuff so now there's our little syringe now let's see if it can show you a picture of that there you go so we got all that down in the plate now let me see if i can without losing the camera you know how it is with me and grandma on the camera jeez oh. <laughs> okay. okay so now at this point what i did last time okay last time i finished you eating that toothpaste <laughs> <laughs> okay last time i took a little bit of baking soda just a teeny bit to make it kind of dry. And then I mixed it in. First we're gonna need another little plate so we can put the dots out on the plate. Now I didn't get a lot of toothpaste, but that will be enough toothpaste for that bike tour that I'm doing in May. So, cause I've only been gone for like five days. And so you see, that's enough for five days. Plenty for five days. Okay, so now we're gonna take and we're gonna put it in the syringe. Boy, I was hoping we can get it in here. Last time I just was in a hurry and I just put the dots like on the plate and they was kind of uneven dots, but they still worked. Okay, perfect. Okay. So now, Ferris, how's your um, cake decorating skills? <laughs> I'm not quite sure. You're just going to squeeze out like little dots, okay? You're going to push it in there. Yeah, I kind of want to get away from toothpaste, you know, because it's like it's just got a lot of, I don't know, stuff in it. I, I, I don't know about that stuff. I don't know if you should be putting this in. And some people use like a little bit of like clay in their toothpaste. I don't want any clay because my teeth are, uh, some of them are fake from Mexico and I want to take care of them. So I don't want anything too abrasive. Some people use sea salt too, a little bit of fine sea salt. But like I said, I don't want anything too abrasive on these teeth. They gotta last me for a while. They cost me some money. <laughs> okay, we could just get that in there doesn't want to really go in there okay all right so okay where's the um oh Ferris you... oh boy this this is gonna be kind of a mess I think my old way was better <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Ferris I think my old way was a little better okay so Ferris you're just gonna go like Like that. Right. Okay. And then another one. And you're gonna go all the way around the plate like that. And if it pokes up like that, let's make sure they get it. If it pokes up like that, then you just can like kind of tap it down like that to make it go down and stay down. So Ferris, you're gonna do all of those, okay? Ooh, 
toothpaste hands. Well, I guess we'll smell good all day. But that, you know, we look at that. We scraped everything out of me, boy. The only thing left now at that point would be to lick it out and you can brush your teeth. But we're not going to do that. That's a little bit too cheap. <laughs> Fair, stop raising your hand that you do that. <laughs> Vera, she's going to grow up, and when you become an adult, you're going to be so cheap, you could write one of those tightwad gazette books over again. <laughs> How to save money and pack money away. Is that good? Okay, yes, that's perfect. And you can, yeah, you can make them, don't make them too big, because I don't need a whole big thing. Uh, it's mostly the brush. That's what I want to mention to you. It's mostly the brush that does the the cleaning of your teeth. It's not all this stuff. You just need a little bit for the taste and stuff, but mostly it's the uh, the water and the brush of getting the stuff out off your teeth and stuff. And so you just do that until you get all of them done. But at least we know what's, uh, you know, if you make your own toothpaste, you'll know it, at least you know what's in that toothpaste. This stuff here, some of this stuff, you know, it comes from foreign countries and you kind of have to worry about, well, what's the regulations over there? I'm like, well, you know, how much will they allow for certain things and stuff? And that kind of gets me scared when I see that at the dollar store. So that's why I kind of want to like be careful what like. And then there was one that I bought that was expensive and I just couldn't use it. Every time I used it, I felt sick. Ooh, I have to get that out in a few minutes. Um, and then if you don't want fluoride and stuff, you know, that's good too. Because, you know, when you're making your own toothpaste, you won't have fluoride. Okay, all right. So, oh, I got toothpaste all in my hands now. Okay, so, and then when you finish making the dots. Last time I made about 200 and something dots. I had them for quite a while. And they worked really great. I didn't have to buy toothpaste for a long time. And they didn't go bad. What I did is I put, I, I'm going to take this baking soda and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of baking soda on it to kind of dry them out. And so once they dry out completely and I can pick them up off the thing, like, you know, just pick them up, I put them in uh, the pill bottle. Or you could put them like in a bag if you don't have a pill bottle. Or you could put like a Ziploc, you know. I still have baking soda. And so that's all you're going to do. And you just let the dry out it doesn't take it long to dry out i'd say but if i remember about like two days it was completely dry ferris we just had lunch lay <laughs> off the toothpaste goodness okay so there you go so that's and then once they dry then i'll just pick them up okay i'll pick them up and then i'll put them plastic. in my little empty medicine bottle grandma that's plastic that's what plastic. i know but i mean i'm not throwing it away it was, it had my medication in it, so I'm gonna use it, reuse it. You can reuse plastic, Ferris. Yeah, so there you go. All right, so now, let me move this out of the way. Good. And we're gonna move on to making our own toothpaste. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to make is going to be our own toothpaste, which we're, it, I'm gonna call this Earth Paste. How about that, Ferris? You think Earth Paste would be a good name for it? Now we're gonna have to have some coconut oil. Now I've never made this stuff before. Coconut oil? With, with the coconut oil, no. I've made it, but I didn't use coconut oil. Last time I used some clay and I used a sea salt and I used um, baking soda and, and then peppermint oil. That's what I used last time, but this time we're going to do something different. We're going to uh, we're going to make something a little bit more fancier, shall we say? Okay. So now, getting to the uh, the thing that we need, we're going to need a half. Or you need to go get a. Uh, oh no, here it is, right here. Oh, okay. Let's hope the boat is big enough. You're going to need a half a cup of baking soda, Ferris. So this is going to make a lot of toothpaste here. But we'll make one jar for you guys. Which, which flavor do you like? Do you like the peppermint or you like, well, you should probably use spearmint. Okay, so we're gonna use a half 
If you guys don't like it, I'll always use it. A half a cup of baking soda. And you know, you can buy this baking soda pretty cheap at the store. Now, the thing about the baking soda is, don't go and buy some fancy baking soda. Just buy the baking soda. Good Lord and mercy, I saw this poor lady in the store and she was buying the most expensive baking soda for her refrigerator. Just buy the cheap stuff. Okay, so you're gonna put that in there. That's your half a cup. It's starting to rain. What? Uh, we don't need that. Now we're gonna, well, let's make it really quick. Yeah, okay, so I need another knife really quick, Ferris, so I can scoop out this uh, fourth of a cup of uh, coconut oil. Okay, Ferris, so I'm gonna give you guys, I'll give you guys the plastic jar, since you guys drop stuff. I'll give you guys the plastic jar, and I'll take the glass, glass jar. Okay, so now we need a fourth of... Are we supposed to wash our hands? Huh? Are we supposed to wash our hands? We already washed our hands. I washed my hands. Did you not wash your hands? No. Well, geez, Ferris. <laughs> okay, so there we go. That's our fourth of a cup of the coconut oil. Now, Ferris, I don't know how you're going to get that to mix, buddy. Oh, I know, I know. I know. That's going to be a mess. <laughs> <laughs> See? Maybe... Maybe it would have been better with a fork. I don't know. Try it, Ferris. See what you think. It's I got the I got the unrefined coconut oil. It says that it's got a rich coconut aroma. Mm. Let's see. Oh, oh. So you're gonna eat it. Oh gosh, that smells like that. What's that? What's that candy bar that's got the the coconut in it? There's a there's a candy bar, almond joy. That smells like almond joy. Doesn't it? Uh oh, it's not wanting to mix very well. Mm. Go get a fork. Yeah, I'm gonna go get a fork real quick. You keep trying to mix it, and I'll get a fork. Actually, I might bring a plate and mix it better with the plate. Okay, so now at this point, let's dump it all in this bow here. Okay, now, see what's going to happen now. I think we need a little bit more coconut, don't you? I don't know. Don't ask me. Yeah, let's give it a little bit more coconut. Nothing like adding a little bit extra, you know. Plus, we'll get to taste it. <laughs> we'll taste more coconut. <laughs> now, Ferris, it's got baking soda in it, so... In order for it to be sweet, in order for it to be sweet, we're gonna put some Siva in it to make it taste a little sweeter. Okay, so we put five packets of Siva in it. Now, it's kind of almost like a powder type of thing, you know? Add some water. My other one was a lot easier to deal with. And the other one, I had it like in a little jar. And I just took my toothbrush. Since it was my toothpaste, I just took my toothbrush every morning when it was a little wet and dipped it in. And it came out just great. Good? Good? Yeah. So, let's see. Okay, so now, let's mix half. That's wet. Okay, don't worry about it. Okay, let's mix half of that. I'm, this one's going to be, this one be for you guys. That'll be the peppermint one. Okay, so let's go ahead now at that point and start putting it in. Do you want me to go get a spoon? Or... So it's going to be more like powder. So you probably have to dip your brush in it. Kind of like what mine was because it doesn't seem like it's mixing. Well, it's an experiment, you know, so it's okay, but it'd still be good, you know. I mean, it's still going to be a good toothpaste to use. Just kind of messy, but good thing it's outside, huh? We don't want the dog eating it. Mm, it smells actually pretty good. Okay, so now this other one, I'm going to add um, to it. I'm going to add peppermint. That one's going to be for me. Now, if you guys like this today, this video, please give us a thumbs up, you know, and 
If you like making your own toothpaste, well, then here you go. This is the, the thing to do. And, of course, you know, you can always go online and you can um, check out other recipes and stuff and see what they how they do there as an experiment you know maybe just make a little small amount and see how you like it you know and if you like it then keep that recipe you know for yourself if you don't well then switch to something maybe a little different that's more tastier for you you might want to use a lemon you might want to use a different flavor and oh and i use just essential oil on this and peppermint essential oil. and on, on ferris's he got the uh, spearmint one Peppermint. Pepper, peppermint. Cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon. Yeah, you could use cinnamon. You could use cloves. So at that point, oh. I'm going to put mine in my little jar and we're, we're done here. So you guys, thank you very much for watching our video today. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to it yet, please do. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye now.